Hey there, I'm Eric Tennant. They're electric. And I'm going to show you guys how to charge up your e-bike using solar. There's a few ways to go about doing this. Here you can see I got a simple system set up. I got the Dioku, I'm not sure if that's pronounced right, out, solar panel. This is basically just a flat, flexible panel. And it's just connected here with the Andersons to a meter. And then I got to just extend it out over here and to keep it out of the sun up to the Jenison solar controller. This one here is, it's a little pricey to tell you the truth. It's a uh, $200 and you can charge up to 350 watts. And then basically that is just plugged into the battery. Got the meter on this side of the charge controller just to see what the panel is actually charging. So right now the solar panel is pulling 74, 73, somewhere around that, about 74 watts off of it before being converted over. Uh, this is an expensive one. It has, it claims to be a 99% conversion rate on it and then of course there's uh, many other options if I had to lay them down flat I'd be getting way less amps right there okay now now I'm pulling like 67 watts so the more you can angle it up at the sun of course the better solar performance you're gonna get all these items can be found down in the description below next one is quite a bit more affordable it comes in around I think it's around 62 63 dollars now and it claims to have a 95% conversion rate. There's some, uh, there's a pro to it. It ha does have a display screen, um, a little bit of higher wattage to it. It's cheaper. And you're able to set uh, what volt output voltage you want, so it can be used pretty much for any battery. The cons are, well, it weighs four times as much. This guy weighs uh, a little over a pound there. Uh, it's not nearly as... Uh, Efficient. It runs at 95% is what they claim where the Jenison is 99% But yeah, it definitely is a lot cheaper. It's about almost a quarter of the cost of the Jenison. So pros and cons, yeah, of course uh, <laughs> Can't really film the LEDs on here to my eye. They look perfect, but to the camera Unfortunately, they are flashing around there, but yeah, trust me the display works properly so yeah, that's how you charge an e-bike with solar. The, there is an even much cheaper option. That is to use a, a boost controller or a buck. And basically kind of the same thing without a lot of the protections. And unfortunately, there's no kind of case. And I'm pretty sure the efficiencies on them is pretty, is probably less on that even so. But as far as if you're on really a budget, I'm, sometimes you can pick those up off of AliExpress for, you know, like $8 or something. So the battery is what I consider to be a solar battery, which just means is it has a common charge and discharge cable. I upgraded these myself using a Dolly BMS to make them a solar battery. And then additionally, if you're wondering what this wire is, that's not a charge or a discharge, that's actually a for my knee active balancer. I plug it in there and I'm able to do any kind of maintenance on the battery. Uh, those are basically other videos you'd have to check out on my channel if you want to know how to do that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful and have a great day.